Onion Cycles podcast is about thought-provoking, emotion-evoking, action-driven, step-by-step guidance to explore the unique, glorious and wonderful ocean of your being. Because healing is a multi-layered process of getting to know oneself. Become the self-empowered empiric researcher by discovering the unique layers of your existence. With your host, Nadine Alma, welcome to the Holistic Healing Hub. Welcome to the Onion Cycles podcast. Hello and a warm welcome back, my beloved fellow healing onions. I am so glad you decided to spend some more time with me. I am humbled by your presence and your wish to learn more about yourself and dive deep into the self-empiric research that enables you to heal on a deeper level. A warm welcome to all of you who are new here and a heartfelt hug and welcome to all of you tuning back in every single week. I have the worksheet for this week's episode ready for you on my website www.wonderfinder.org so feel free to check that out. This will contain all the notes of every podcast and every topic we talk about and it includes lovely exercises that enable you to really enhance the healing experience according to think, feel and act because this is where the change happens, this is where the magic happens, this is where we transform into the person we want to be living, the lives we want to be. Today we start off a new series And I am happy to announce Story 16, Episode 17, The Four Bodies series. Today we are diving straight into the first body, which is the physical body. I would assume this is the one we are most familiar with and the other three bodies will cover the mental body, the emotional body and the spiritual or etherical body. The bodies, as a short introduction to our topic, are sort of like four horses that draw a carriage and on top of that carriage we have the soul. So that means that we would do good in knowing about all four of them and best case scenario take care of all four of them because you can imagine them as an onion very much like an onion in that the layers interact with each other meaning that what happens on the topmost outest layer will affect the innermost layer and if the outer layer is damaged the inner layer is damaged too So you very much could imagine it like an onion and we're taking care of all four layers of our very personal and unique onion. With that said, I will also link some resources below because, you know, I don't get tired of saying it. Curiosity is key. Make your own research. Find what resonates with you. For these next four episodes, I have mainly discovered Jill Willard and ascendedmasterencyclopedia.org along with some fantastic YouTube videos that make it very clear and concise what I'm talking about. You can find those in the description below or like I said you do your own research and don't just take for granted what I present to you. It is of utmost importance that you realize that when you put effort into something and something resonates with you then go down that rabbit hole and find out 
what your soul wants you to find out from that. So the soul is the master of the reins of these horses and the first horse we will discuss is the physical body. It is basically a force field with a unique atomic frequency and I have found quite a lot of quantum physics experiments that at this point in time have proven that we all are made up of vibration of frequency there is really no matter at all and the funny thing about that is is that even our physical body and every object that we see as matter is made up of atoms and those atoms are basically just vibration that opens up a beautiful chance for us to heal ourselves and also another layer of understanding how illness works, how aura works, how spiritual energetic healing works and this brings us straight to the topic at hand, the physical body as the first part of this series is basically consisting of diet, exercise and rest. And we have covered so far quite a lot in regards to the physical body and how to take care of it. The scientific corner points of the physical body are basically just that it's the most dense of the four bodies, which is clear because it's the only one we really can see. We could train us to see the others as well, but as of now, the majority of us can't see the other three. It is the vehicle for the soul and the focus of integration for the evolving of the soul, which must gain its freedom and self-mastery in the physical octave. It sort of also is referenced in chakras, kundalinis, um, the threefold flame and the atom seed, meaning that all of these more finer frequencies, more finer vibrations are connected with the body, interacting with the body frequency. And the etheric bodies, meaning all three others that we are going to discuss, are mirrored in the physical. So it's not always clear which one affects the other. And the reason that we often have illnesses and sometimes struggle with mental or emotional barriers is that we are also occupying our four bodies with karmic records of the mental and astral bodies and then that shows and affects the physical body. In regards to diet, exercise and rest, I would want to point out A very essential thing, which is that you are unique. I say it all the time, I know, but one shoe doesn't fit all. So your approach to taking care of your physical body can look very different to another person's. It not only depends on your physical condition, it also depends on what you have stored in your physical body in the form of trauma or illness. So never compare yourself to anyone else out there. It's a very unique and personal journey. We all have to find out for ourselves what works for us. And this is also part of the essence of this podcast is to really emphasize this point We are here to help each other. We are here to walk each other back home. We are here for a healthy fusion and connection between individuals that are all on their unique journeys. So we can provide help and support for others, but judgment is not the way to go. And we need to let go of the notion that we know best, that we have a recipe that is out there and suitable for everyone because that is not the case with that said um, there are some things that can work for 
a lot of people and then there are some things that you need to try to see if it works. I would say that in terms of resting your body, like with everything else, balance is key. Resting too much and exercising too little is the same wrong as exercising too much and resting too little. That said, in forms of resting and taking care of your physical body while resting, there is, for example, grounding, which is a whole other topic that we might tackle some other point in detail. For now, I just want to point out that grounding consists of being in nature, walking barefoot and breathing breath work, breathing techniques. So for that, I could advise you to, if that resonates with you, go back to the episode I did about breath work and breathing to give you a introduction into that absolutely wonderful way of resting and taking care of your physical body and in terms of barefoot walking only five minutes a day and it will change your life that much I can say there is a beautiful documentary about that out there as well I think it is for free available on YouTube and it is called grounding I will research that and put that in the description below as well. Another thing to get into contact with your physical body is what we did last week in our body scan exercise, which brings you into connection where you are totally present with your body and every single muscle that is tense and every single pain point you might have and experience and how you actually can influence that with your own energy and your own focus to the point of moving the energy that is stuck and healing yourself. There is also dry brushing. I don't know if you've heard of that. You can buy very fancy stuff if you want to, but you can also just use a sort of... um any brush that has a soothing um, type of hair on it and then you go over your skin and not only remove does it remove um, old skin cells and dead skin cells it is a lovely way to treat your physical body to touch to tenderness to attention and intention and you may even want to think about gratitude for your body while doing it to intensify the experience and as for exercise I want to again repeat myself and say that please ease into whatever you want to implement into your life like I said we're all unique and there is no one way fits all the key is balance and we learned as much in the Art of Love series that it's not overindulgence, it's also not underindulgence, meaning that go for what is the middle path. Don't go all in, don't do an exercise and think that from now on you have to do it 100% otherwise you're not good enough or you're not worthy consistency isn't always looking the same as well and we are building our muscle of consistency by getting to know ourselves better meaning that consistency in essence is just to never give up and always come back no matter how many breaks you have in between and no matter how often you feel like you have to give up coming back is the essence of consistency and let no one tell you that just because you took a break or just because you haven't done it every single day you are less or your practice is less or anything is lost on the contrary we're building this muscle of consistency and so it is also with exercise 
meaning that some days you might want to do a full workout of one and a half hours and other days you just feel exhausted and 10 minutes of yin yoga or 10 minutes of just stretching, not even calling it a practice of pilates or yoga, might do more for your well-being and your physical body than actually putting pressure on it and making it a strenuous effort. Make discernments and really dive into your intuition, get to know yourself and trust yourself. You know best. You know when you're lying to yourself because there is a small voice inside our heads and it will point out that we're taking it way too easy on us today and we could do more. But the thing with this voice is sometimes it's right and sometimes it isn't. And it is a muscle like any other muscle we try to build here to get a clear view on what we can and should expect of ourselves and what we can and shouldn't. You are the lead character in your life and I do beg of you to love yourself and listen closely to what you need and to not always push yourself to the brink. Because there is a lot that we handle on an everyday basis and I feel like we do give us too little credit for what we accomplish in a day living our lives. Right, so with that said, diet is another thing that I feel like is essentially talked about too little. I saw the other day a reel on Instagram saying that you shouldn't trust your doctor if he or she doesn't ask about your diet, your exercise, your rest and your hobbies because in essence he disregards all the outer influences that can cause any kind of illness and I do partially agree with that. Uh, I do partially also disagree with that because those doctors, they do the best they can and in our system that is faulty and that is a multi-trillion dollar business with medicines and with keeping people ill, it's not just their fault. So we might just want to get away from victimhood consciousness and make up a conscious decision to be self-empowered and make our own judgments and dive into all of what we expect of our doctor to do for us, for ourselves instead. Meaning that look at your diet, look at your exercise, look at your rest and look what you do for your spiritual, for your emotional bodies. In terms of diet, not every diet is a fit for all. Not every decision that another makes and that brings them health and happiness and joy will do the same for you. So this also is a part of your life where make a trial out of it. Be the self-empiric researcher. Build yourself a little calendar or an Excel sheet for a month and try it out and see what it does for you. On our worksheet for this week, we have a body diary and an intuitive body exercise. So we are diving deep into how to approach our physical body and how we can consciously take care of it. And lastly, before we close this first beautiful topic of our four body series, I want to take this chance to remind you that the reason why I wanted to tackle the topic of the four bodies is that we are sort of coming from the art of love series that we did in these episodes we talked about oneness and wholeness and union as the highest goal of us humans and how we sort of try to achieve this state of union with a very distorted approach and these distorted approaches sort of frame the answer on where we could start 
to look for healing. What I try to say in very complicated words is that ascension is another word for perfection, is another way for oneness, wholeness and union as pointed out by Erich Fromm. And we are doing this in aligning our bodies. So through aligning our bodies, we are basically striving to become perfection. We become love again. We become aware of ourselves, of where we come from and about the light we have within. And that ultimately doesn't only serve ourselves, it serves everyone in our environment because we enhance our experience, we enhance our peace, we enhance our capability of giving and of loving and of being in presence, in connection and help each other by showing that it really can be done by anyone as long as you put your devotion and your decision into this journey. To me personally, being aware of my four bodies enabled me to really make a evaluation whenever I am out of balance, where this out of balance happens. We are then able to have a concise and objective view on how we can heal this, how to approach it. The example I would give is if I feel out of balance and I go into my physical body by doing a body scan, for example, I realize that there has been a neck pain that has been basically torturing me for the whole day, but I was so busy in the outside world, I didn't even realize it. And taking the time to finding that issue and then dissolving it enabled me to then have a nicer evening and be a more companionable and pain-free person to spend the night with. So that would be an example I would give as to why it is a very contributional, beneficial thing to learn about the four bodies. Right, that is our episode 7, the physical body. I hope you were able to take something away from it, something that resonated with you, maybe something you want to do research on for yourself, dive deeper. There is a lot to learn and I would feel very glad to hear from you. Remember, sharing is caring. If you feel like you want to share something, it might be contributional to someone else's journey who then reads that comment. And as always, feel free to contact me with anything and everything you want to tell me about. I hope I could give you content that is concise, that makes sense and that brings you forward on your beautiful, wonderful healing journey. I send you from my little corner of the world to you all the love and light. I love you very much and see you next time, my beloved healing fellow onions.